Hello, I'm Sand Garden Dick, and this video is one of a series called Celebrate Your Waste. The series describes our hand built home, the Sand Garden. It's cost about $15,000, and in four years we've made a place that heats itself and cools itself, processes its own waste, protects itself from fire grows its own food, attracts a marvelous diversity of plant and animal life, and permits us to live a lifestyle in harmony with the earth that would be impossible with a 30-year mortgage and enslavement to a job. Our topic today is the first structure we built next to our used 26-foot camping trailer, and we call it the solarium in the winter and we call it the shade house in the summer. Let me tell you how it works and how it's built. Before we begin I want to make a general overall observation. Notice throughout these films we've really adopted our place at each stage, really loved it and lived in it in order to know what to do next. This stage was devised to understand the orientation of the sun and the microclimate surrounding it, especially deciduous trees. We concluded that we needed to face west-southwest with the solarium. Notice especially that scraggly looking elm right in the middle of the picture. That scraggly elm will become the key to our system of cooling and heating and much of the joy of our place. The idea here is to use that elm tree and some calculated overhangs of the roof to create a place that's exposed to the sun during the fall and winter and early spring and shaded from the sun throughout the summer so that in the winter we have a hothouse, a solarium, and in the summer we have a shade house. So let me summarize for a minute. Now we know what we want to build, a combination solarium shade house, and we know where we want to build it, that is to say on the southwest side of our living unit, right next to uh, and just east northeast of an elm tree that we have reason to think we can cultivate into a wonderful shade device. So now the question is what do we build it out of? And here at the sand garden the answer is always somebody else's waste. So uh, let's start there. At the beginning of this project there must have been a hundred of these chain link fence posts stuck in cement. Definitely some waste and something we wanted to get rid of. There was also a lot of ABS pipe, two inch ABS pipe, and it turns out that that just fits over those chain link fence posts you just saw. This is pretty flexible and it led us to the idea of trying to use a kind of bamboo lashing technology. And we used it everywhere for the entire structure of the house, beginning with the solarium. The next step is to put on a roof of wasted corrugated tin and then wrap it in six mil plastic sort of like this. We wrap it both inside and outside the post to get the insulation effect. This picture taken in the uh, first week of May in 2008 with all the winter plants uh, removed or most of them shows some other features of the solarium slash shade house. That brick floor um, absorbs heat in the winter time when the sun's low enough to come through the plastic windows and then readmits that heat at night 
Uh, the same thing happens with some of the plant stands. There's a palm right in the middle of the picture that's sitting on a black tank. That tank is filled with water, uh, releases it. Uh, the ceiling, you can see a scallop that's made by stuffing with grasses that we cut for fire protection. There's a lot of roof insulation. The chickens really benefit from the space as well. As you can see, their brooding and roosting area are contained within the solarium. So they have a great deal of security and they also uh, benefit from the moderate temperatures and even give back a little um, because they're worth about 10 watts apiece. The wall between the solarium and the camper uh, is just decorated with grass for appearance's sake but it's intended to equalize temperature fairly readily. You can see the window vents help as well. Uh, the gases come from the areas that are kind of painted green there and all of those are warm and help the solarium and at the same time are helped by the solarium. And you can't take a picture of Granny May, that wonderful Ringer Maytag washer without showing Mama Linda that makes this whole operation function. Thank you so much ladies. Now let's go outside. And here's what that shaded area looks like four years later. This is the view from the west, south, and west. Thanks for taking the time to watch. See you next time.